Happy New Year and welcome to my new studio. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I spent the last four days cleaning up and reorganizing my studio. So I wanted to show you guys my new setup. The biggest thing that I did with my studio was I moved this table right here over from that side of the wall going this way to this wall. I feel like it opened up my room a little bit more and left this back wall empty. And the reason I wanted to do that is so I had a blank space to start taking pictures of my makes as I make them. Now this table is actually two tables put together. You can see that I just mashed two tables put together right here. And also have extra, extra storage underneath the tables because the, these tables actually came with storage. Now, some plans that I have for this table, you've seen that I use this table to cut out all my fabric, and then I use this table right here. It's a ironing board cabinet. I use that to iron everything, and then I come over here, and I cut out my patterns, stitch them, etc. Well, my plan for the new year is to have a table topper that I can pin all my patterns on as well as iron. That way I get rid of this and have some extra space and I just have one big table to sew, iron, and pin everything all at once. A big thing that I got for Christmas was this pegboard right here. And see, it's super organized. I have my scissors on the right side with all my spools of thread. And then on the left side, all my crafting supplies. So anything not related to sewing, such as those spools of ribbon, the hot glue guns, and then that the green bottle, that is vinegar for when I decide that I want to drink coffee or something and I spill it. Speaking of Christmas, I actually got this baby right here from my mom. She has had this in her closet for about... I want to say she's had it for like 10 years, probably longer. So I finally decided to ask her this year, Hey, you're not using the baby lock. Can I have it? And she actually said yes. So I have that machine to add to my slew of machines over here. This is my serger. My extra serger in case that breaks or something happens. The brother... HC1850. This is my trusty dusty machine I've been using for the last two years. Now I did have this Singer heavy duty machine. I never used it so I'm actually getting rid of it to make more space. And then now more storage stuff. So you saw that I have all of this stuff, all of this storage underneath my tables. I use them for patterns, for little sewing baskets and then over here this is probably my most important corner I have my interfacing for all my projects my transfer paper for when I want to transfer darts and other things from the pattern over and my freezer paper for when I make my patterns and another thing that I wanted to show you guys that I acquired is this nifty little mirror right here I got it at the thrift store for $16. It's a full length mirror. And I thought it'd be a good idea to have in my room for when I start making stuff and I want to show you the progress of it without having to take pictures on that wall over there all professional like. I have my computer over here with my to-do list that is currently blank. So I will add to that to-do list as the year goes by. And over here, I wanted to show you guys my closet where I keep everything else. This is where I keep my me made items. Um, I want to say half of the stuff that I made in the videos are in here. The other half are in my actual closet. As you can see, I also have all of my patterns that I used on this side. What I did was I actually bought... These are shoe hangers. You're supposed to put boots on them, but I decided... I wanted to be able to visually see what pattern I was using and had cut out without having to store them in a container or a plastic bag. I'm not sure this is the best way to store patterns. I've seen people use Ziploc bags and keep them all stored and I think that might be a better idea and save some space. But currently this is what I'm working with, some of the patterns here. You can see. 
And then over here on this side of the closet, I have my fabrics. Anything that's over two yards, I've ironed, pressed, and folded over so I can grab them whenever I want to use them. I haven't figured out a, a better way currently without buying more stuff to keep all my big fabrics. And then in this container right here, anything that is over two yards, I keep in this container. So my fabric quarters for bow ties, some one yard fabrics here for some tops. I keep all in here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my new setup for my studio to include my new area to take pictures, my new table setup, pegboard, and how I organize some of the things in my closet. It's not the best way to organize things. If you have any comments on how I should reorganize my patterns, please let me know. If you have any questions about my table setup or any of my machines or anything else, Feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.